All right, you guys, today I'm check out how to extrude and rotate your PNG logo and add metallic chrome material here in After Effects. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new composition, really made logo, and I'm gonna go with 1080p, 30 frame per second, and the duration, I'm gonna make it five seconds, black background, click OK. And I'm gonna drag and drop the logo into the composition. Right now, I'm gonna make it transparent so you can see what is happening. Press the letter S, I'm gonna scale it down with 30. So now we're gonna go to the layer and let's select the auto trace. And for this particular logo, I'm gonna go with these settings, apply to new layer, click OK. I can turn off the transparent background. Let's go and delete the PNG. And now we're left with this new file. And from here, we're gonna right click here, go to new and select the shape layer. So we're gonna need to copy paste the pads from this into the shape layer. So we're gonna go to the masks. And as you can see, we've got four masks in here. So every each separated shape is a mask. For example, the letter N is a separated mask. The I is a separated mask. And the K, E and the swoosh is one mask, but which is the third mask? But then we got the fourth mask. And that is this negative space triangle. So now we're gonna go and copy paste all the mask into the shape layer. So let's open up the mask for three, two, one. And I also gonna open the shape layer one. As you can see, we don't have anything here. So we're gonna go to add and let's add a path. Now instead of one path, we're gonna need four paths. So I'm gonna press control D on the path one, control D again and again. So now we got four, I'm gonna open them up. And let's go to the first mask, select the mask path, press Ctrl C, scroll up, go to path one, click on the path, press Ctrl V. Now I'm gonna go back, mask two, Ctrl C, scroll up, Ctrl V, and so on and so forth. I'm also gonna deactivate the stopwatch from all the four paths and I'm gonna go and delete the previous layer. So now we are left only with the shape layer. I'm gonna collapse these paths and we're gonna need to recolor it. I'm gonna go to add, select fill and I'm gonna recolor it to white click OK press the letter S to scale it down I'm gonna add 30 and as you can see we got a little bit of problem here this triangle is white as well so it's like a positive shape so I'm gonna go to the shape layer open it up and I gotta go to the contents and let's go to add and select merge paths let's open up the merge paths one let's go to add and change it to exclude intersections and as you can see, we got the logo set up correctly. And because we traced it, it includes a lot of unnecessary anchor points. For example, I can select one of these and just delete them, or you can select multiple and clean it up that way. Now, professionally speaking, you wanna have a logo made out of vectors and import the EPS format and just create a shape layer out of it instead of complicating yourself with a PNG. If you wanna check that video, I'm also gonna leave a link in the description. But anyways, let's go back to the layer and I'm gonna activate the 3D Click on the cube. If you don't have this option, you can click on the toggle switch, hide and unhide. I'm gonna change up the camera, custom view one. Let's go to geometry options, open it up. And I'm gonna go to extrude, type in 400. So the half of the 400 extrusion is 200. And we're gonna need to copy paste that value to the transform anchor point to position it perfectly to the center. Let's go back to geometry options. I'm gonna add some bevel. I'm gonna increase it to max. And to make it metallic looking, I'm gonna open up the material options, scroll down. Let's go to specular shininess and increase it to 100. Now let's rotate this. We're gonna go to transform. Let's go to the Y rotation, activate the stopwatch, bring it somewhere here. And I'm gonna go here, add a number one enter and it's going to rotate it 360 degrees and i'm going to bring the second anchor point all the way to the end so it's rotating like this i also going to change up the lights right click here new light let's go with environment light make sure to check the cast shadows click ok open up the light source go to transform and this way you can tweak the x and the y rotation of the light hit play and that's how you transform your PNG logo into a 3D extruded rotating chrome logo in After Effects. Thanks for watching.